So you're California based right now. How much anxiety did you have launching this in a somewhat uncertain economic time? You know, if you can build a business in the hardest economic time you've had in, in 30 or 40 years, then, uh, then you're good to go. And, uh, and California gives us the most difficult regulatory environment uh, in the nation. And so if we can build it there, then, then scaling doesn't become the same challenge. And I saw in one of the promotional pieces you had Marissa Mayer. So, I mean, there is also tons of business activity going on in California, which I assume was part of the decision to do this and start with California. Absolutely. There's a marriage of the digital entertainment uh, sectors in Los Angeles with the technology sectors in the in Bay Area and Silicon Valley. And so shuttling people back and forth between those two communities was a perfect fit for us. Now, we mentioned some of the high-profile backers that you have. How hard was the pitch on your part? How hard was it to get money? You know, we had a non-traditional fundraising experience. Anthem Venture Partners stepped up at our very first meet. Uh, so it was, it was surprisingly straightforward. Uh, it, it's a massive industry that hasn't gotten it right in 70 years. And you hopefully, obviously, are going to be the ones to do it. What about fuel prices, all these things that go into the equation that have made the airlines industry and obviously much bigger players suffer? Yeah, when you're using flexible pricing and using a ticketed model, you're, you're much more subject to that. When you've got a flat rate pricing going forward, you can buy hedges or fuel contracts that are deliverable. And you guys are prepared to do that. Absolutely. Have you heard of yourselves being described as the Netflix of air travel? Uh, yes. What do you think about times. that? Is that fair, so unfair? It's somewhat care? similar. I mean, they were disruptive in, a, in an otherwise stayed industry. Uh, they had a similar scheme where you got, you know, you watch three DVDs at your house, send one back, get another one. Same thing for us. All you can fly, but you get four boarding passes to hold at once, fly it, and then you, and you can fly again. So right now, as we establish, you're in California only. What are your plans? If this works in California, what do you see? What's the vision? So if this works in California, there's 25 markets in the U.S. where this really makes sense. Pretty much the easiest way to know where we work is to look at the Obama administration's high-speed rail map. Anywhere that, those, that, that they work, we work. The only difference is the infrastructure is already in place. We're sitting on top of America's single most overbuilt infrastructure. Speaking of the Obama administration and the plans, I know part of the reason that you had this idea, you were working in the White House in a different administration, right? And, and traveling all the time and realizing what a headache it was. I flew 27 days a month at, at the peak ahead of Vice President Cheney. And that meant I was flying last, flying last minute. I was flying one ways. I was flying commercial two years after 9-11 as a military age male. So I got the second random screening on every flight. So here I was, I could walk up and hug the Vice President. I couldn't get on a plane. Yeah, I can understand that that would have been uh, slowing you down and annoying in the process. What are the other challenges? I mean, are you getting the pilots that you want to get? This is a pretty complicated business. So it is. One of the, one of the greatest things we're most proud of is the, the kinds of pilots we're getting. We have tremendous response from pilot community. A lot of former military pilots, guys who've been gone a lot in the last 10 years, who've, who haven't seen their family as much as they'd like. We're the only airline in the world where they sleep in their own beds at night every night because we're a commuter. And what is the experience now? I mean, I watched something that you put on YouTube, which you explained was part of the pitch process. How much of advertising is dependent on the social mobile model that we've talked a lot about here on Money Moves? How much is traditional? So for us, it's all been about simplifying everything related to your flight experience, from how you book to how you get there. So one example you mentioned was mobile. You'll be able to book and cancel your flights in under 30 seconds on us. Okay. And is there an app? There is. There's an app. It only takes three, I mean, it's three steps. We ask three questions. Where do you want to go? When do you want to get there? Which flight would you like to get on? It's super sleek, very, very simple, and something that one-off purchasers will never be able to do. All right. And, and there's a tier as well, a pricing tier, right? There's one level that's 1000 Talk us through the other one. This is where the Netflix comparison works, right? You can have one DVD, two, or three, and you're going to pay a different amount. You can have two boarding passes at once on us for $790, four for $1,000, $990 a month, or six for $1,490. And uh, you mentioned that California was a little bit tough regulation-wise, but even getting your planes in and out with uh, traffic patterns, have you gotten a lot of hassle just because you're small? So what works for us, we're working hand-in-hand -hand with the FAA to get all the regulatory approvals that we need. And, and because there's a federal agency dealing with it, California is a little bit softer. It's a lot of the business regulation in California that makes things difficult. But we found you know, half of America's airports operate at less than 10% capacity. They're dying for business. So for someone to come in and say, we're going to innovate, we're going to do something very, very different than what's done before, we're going to serve this niche community in a market that's booming despite horrible public perception and, and, and customer satisfaction levels, I think they're very, very excited about what we're doing. So we've found a lot of friends.